I first did this recipe on YouTube many, many years ago, and ever since I've been getting lots of people asking for various variations on it. But the most common one is to do a mini version. And frankly, I just absolutely love this recipe. It's got lots of cheese, got lots of garlic. It is absolutely amazing, and I guarantee you're gonna love it too. Let's make these beautiful cheesy garlic bread pizzas on the One Pot Chef. First things first, we're going to start working on our pizza dough. Now this is my super fast quick sticks pizza dough. It doesn't require yeast, so we don't end up wasting any time waiting for it to rise and punching it down and wait, making it rise again and all that huge amount of kneading. All this really is is a bit of mixing and a couple of minutes of kneading. It's really, really fast. So first thing first, into a large mixing bowl, I've got two cups of self-raising flour. And I'm just going to add a little bit of salt to that. And to that, I'm going to add in some natural, that's unflavored or unsweetened yogurt. Now you can use natural yogurt. You can use Greek style yogurt. You can use even some sour cream will be fine. I'm putting in two cups and just using a round bladed knife, like a butter knife. We're just going to start making cutting motions through the mixture. Now, this will allow the mixture to become lightly aerated, which makes for a nicer dough when it's baked. But also, the reason I'm using a knife rather than, say, mixing this together with a spoon, is that if you use, say, a wooden spoon or even a metal spoon, the dough will start coming together and sticking to the spoon and becomes progressively more difficult to put together. But with a knife, you're just cutting through and you can see there's not much attached to the knife there, but the dough is still coming together. So you just keep making those cutting motions through the mixture. You can see how that's all starting to come together. And once the dough is starting to look less like powder and yogurt and more like dough like this, you can actually just get your hands in there, nice clean hands of course, and bring it together so it forms a nice ball of dough. If your dough is really wet and sticky, don't panic. Just add a touch more flour to it and then just keep cutting through with the knife and just keep repeating that until you get a dough-like mixture. It shouldn't be sticky, but it should be moist is the best way to put it. <laughs> you see how it's not sticky anymore. It's just like a dough. It's not really sticking to my hands much. There's just a little bit of stickiness to it. That's great. That's just what we're looking for. On a lightly floured surface, we're just going to give this a quick knead. We're only going to do this for a couple of minutes. Just push it out, bring it back, push it out, bring it back, fold it over, keep doing that until the dough is soft and smooth and elastic. Next, we're going to cut the dough into four roughly even pieces. Then just take each piece one at a time and we're just going to press it out until it's a circle shape, roughly. I've put our four mini pizzas onto two trays lined with some non-stick baking paper so they don't stick to the tray. Next we're going to garlic them up. I've got in a little jug I've got some olive oil, I've got a quarter of a cup of olive oil and I've just stirred through some crushed or finely chopped garlic. I put two teaspoons in but it's entirely up to you. That's a pretty medium amount of garlic. You can put less if you're not a big fan of garlic or if you're a real garlic junkie you can add more. And all we're going to do is divide this olive oil mixture between the four pizzas. And just use the back of a spoon to spread it out over the surface of each pizza. Top with a little bit of freshly chopped parsley. And we're also going to top these with some grated cheese. I'm using some grated mozzarella pizza cheese today, but any grated cheese will be fine. Touch more parsley on top and these are ready to go into the oven. Preheated oven, 220 degrees Celsius, about 410 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the pizzas are cooked all the way through and the cheese is lovely and melted and golden on top. 
while our pizzas are in the oven, I thought I'd take this opportunity to remind you to check out my social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links in the video description underneath this video on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it. That way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. And here we have our completed garlic bread mini pizzas. Absolutely amazing. The whole kitchen smells of garlic and cheese. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now you can serve these as individuals or you can cut them up into wedges and serve them on a platter, whatever you like. But I'm telling you right now, you are going to love these. The whole place is going to smell amazing and I cannot wait to dive in and have a taste. How gorgeous do these look? Cheesy and garlicky, absolutely amazing. That chopping board weighs a ton. <laughs> now, since I last made this recipe as a video, I've lost a couple of internal organs, which means pizza it doesn't always agree with me anymore, but I think a little bite will probably be okay. Mmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's absolutely sensational. <laughs> mm. This pizza base is really great because it's so similar to a traditional pizza base in that you get that lovely thick crust around the edge. It's nice and crunchy at the edge, but the interior is soft and bready. It's got a nice thickness to it, so it's great for sopping up pasta sauce or just enjoying by itself. The cheese is absolutely magnificent. It's golden and bubbling and melted on top. And of course, the garlic. The garlic has absolutely penetrated into the surface of each of these little mini pizzas. And you've got that real sort of garlic bread flavor to it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later. Now that you know how to make this basic pizza dough, you can use this to make pretty much any pizza you can think of. You can use any kind of sauce, any cheese, any toppings you like. You can make one big pizza rather than four small ones. You can even make the pizza slightly smaller, although I do recommend reducing the cooking time slightly. So just keep an eye on it. Make sure you're not burning the crap out of it. But this is a really great recipe to keep up your sleeve because it's very easy to throw together. It literally only took me about five minutes to make this dough, including the time to knead it. So really, it saves a lot of time. If you like a freshly baked pizza, this is a recipe you need to know.